All right, so tonight we may only get through one map. Let's see how we get on. This is Fleetingness number three, Pandemonium by Leo Memes. We played the first two already. You are not ready. The comfortable sense of security of always having your portable in hand. The convenient sternness of weighted cubes. Have you been taking those for granted? Looks like you need a reminder that in life, all things are fleeting. Fleetness is a series of maps that combines portal buttons and footballs. The third installment started as a remake of the last room of Fleetness 2, inspired by Conclan and Nox playthroughs. But as things evolved, it turned into a completely different, crazier puzzle. Playing the previous parts before checking this one out might be useful. Probably won't be because I've probably forgotten everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's on the clips already. Um, throwing is required, however, there is no need to build up momentum or anything like that. Just aim at the wanted direction and press E. The narrow hallway marked by the life preserver signage is a full reset. Also, I should probably do this. You guys might be able to see it a bit better then. Um, is a full reset. Um, it's only used for anti-trapping and same goes for the pedestal button next to the football holder with no connections, no glitches, cube tossing, tight timings or other shenanigans are part of the antenna solution. Eight out of ten. Uh, hold to production from the Paul Stories Mel soundtrack is the track. There is an antenna solution video by Yorick. Huge thanks to Bullfog, Dark Rose and playtesting finding exploits and overall helping to improve the maps. And then we've got credits there to Fluprint Torby for the on-off and the football go to Valve and Team Sven. Whew. That was that was quite the thing. Where is my on-screen chat? I got not on-screen chat. Oh, where have you gone, my on-screen chat? There you are, my on-screen chat. All right. Without further ado, let's jump into this craziness. It is mega, mega hot tonight as well. I probably shouldn't be wearing my jacket, but... Um, ah, no, no, key, no, key, oh, oh, Francais. Oh, oui, oui. I'm not French. Apologies to Sadiq Kat and anybody else who is French. You do realise that the AI soundtrack, I, I can give you. I know, I did it for you, Megist. I restarted my stream before I before I started the map, just for you, because I know how you love your transcoding. You do realise that the AI sound, DA soundtrack is just going to be me going... Do, 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 Get ready for it. Get ready. Uh, have you played in code? Uh, I don't know. Is that a poor map? Is it a game? I don't know. All right. I'm not going to like massively um, ignore chat tonight, but I really do need to sort of try and focus um, a little bit. So if I am a little bit slow at replying to messages tonight, um, I do apologize. So that opens the permanent fizzler. Or the um, absolute fizzler. Sorry, they're called, aren't they? Not permanent. Uh, I've heard clips of it, Aaron. Okay, so that's going to do something. That takes us back. <laughs> annoy chat. No, I did not say annoy. I said ignore. I know my British accent might be difficult for some of you to understand. But I am definitely not here to annoy the hell out of you. Okay. So. What can we do from here? Probably not a lot at the minute. So down there to do that. Can I? I think that's probably too steep for me to go up, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Just jump down on my chair. <laughs> I'm contemplating getting a new chair, though. To be fair, I've had this one for a little over four years now, but. If I'm completely honest, it has absolutely killed my lower back at the bottom of my spine. And that's why I have a special, like, 
a quote unquote special cushion because um, I have I, sh I really now I, sh I suffer with like a pain in my like right at the bottom of my spine because of this chair it has absolutely wrecked me okay cube acquired I actually quite like them. I, I, I find them quite interesting. It's, um, it's an, inter an interesting mechanic. Definitely. Okay, we need some collision on there for the cube. There's no physics clip on that button. Okay, so... We're going to need to go up to there. So, I'm guessing... We're going to jump off here to go and grab this cube. I think, in a way, it's quite... It makes for quite a unique puzzle. Much like the... Um, much like monoportal puzzles. In that you're very sort of limited... As to what you can and can't do. A lot of the time. Okay, so now I've got to go back. I believe you are correct, good sir. Okay, I messed up. I think I should have gone up there because I've got to grab the cube. Oh, wait a minute. There's a holder here, isn't there? Yes, this is a holder. Okay. So now we have that. Now we're going to want to do this. Great minds determinated. Great minds. Okay. So now we have a light bridge. So we can go back through here. So just a reset up there, it is. So if we go through that way, that'll reset all our portals. I mean, I guess we're going to want to go do something with the light bridge now. Okay, that's that's exit move territory, I believe. So what we need to remember here, though, is I'm pretty sure this doesn't that button. Yeah, that button respawns. Oh no, hold on. That button respawns this. Yeah, okay. So, alright, we need to decide what we are going to do next. A cup holder, yeah, I never thought about it like that. what we do from here what are our options so there was nothing through here that's just a hard reset button can't do anything there that's exit criteria I believe but I mean I say it's exit criteria how do we we need to cause something to respawn there aren't we Okay, one thing I just want to check. 
is does this auto respawn? Okay. So that auto respawns. So. That's probably going to be involved some way in the final solution. So there's probably going to be a way that we can conditionally respawn that from there. Oh, I was saying that. Yeah, so that's going to be on there. I'll call that to respawn somehow. Well, that was a fail. It may be humanly possible, but it's not not it's not knock possible. <laughs> So I think I think my next my next task is to get the cube up here so I can open that laser field So what can I do with the cube I could put the cube on that ledge, but that wouldn't really help me. That pretty much respawns instantly, which again doesn't really help me. So that's a, a back step. Paul's got to go down here because I can't go anywhere. Uh, I actually have to lie. No, it's not a lie. The cake is a lie. That would be unintended. So. That doesn't matter though, because there's a, another lift there, isn't there? So I could in effect do this. I can go back.
Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Yo, Mika! What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Is it possible for me to... I wonder if it's possible for me to fling the cube. No. Alright, so my, my thought process there was, would it have been possible for me to have the cube juggling, stand on here, and then get it to fly through there, but it's not going to be possible because... Uh, I don't have the control over my port gun. So... Oh, <laughs> okay, I think I see the move. I think I see the move. So, let's do... Uh, messed it that up, didn't I? Alright, let me go back to my save. I think I see what I need to do. Alright. It's quite a clever little move. Quite a clever little move. I was on the right lines. So we'll put a portal there. And we'll put a portal there. Should do it. We take this through here. And... Is that going to drop through there all right? I hope so. I will save there just in case. Now I'm not going to lose my portals because I don't have my portal gun. And then... You managed to place an airboat on your map with hammer. Nice. Alright. Well, I think it was fair to say that that was set up correctly. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's give that a go. Let's go through here, down there, up here, into here. Oh yeah! Save! I keep yeeted on into yesterday. Okay. We are progress. So that is just a reset. Okay, so we've got the ones that we can put the cubes on here. Now the big question at the moment is, do I need to bring Do I need to bring the football with me? We are progress. Well, I can't take it with me because that fizzler's turned on anyway. So that answers that question. Nice and simple. 
So yeah, Smell Tree, thanks for coming by, saying hi, lurking, and all that jazz. Alright, well that helps us absolutely not at all. Okay, so we've got more of these shenanigans going on here. Fumbly's here, oh my god. Shh, stop talking about Fumbly. Shh. <laughs> Hope you're well, Fumbly. We have to be careful here. Okay, I have an idea. Um, yeah, I think I know which sections you mean as well. I don't know if I put the portal in the right place here. I might have done the, the boo boo. Okay, so can we get up to there? That's the next question. Okay, we can. Okay, so. Next up, this will disable that, it will give us that. Yep. And I done did mess that up. Where did I save? Hopefully I um, didn't save too far away. Right here, it's fine. It's fine. Most of these buttons sometimes they don't want to, re they kind of screw you over a little bit. They don't seem to want to allow you to place the cube on them. Which is interesting. So we did orange last time. So we do... So let's make things easier on ourselves and put a ball somewhere actually relatively useful. I'm going to save here this time. Okay. So now we have free access back to here. I assume this is so we can get back up to there. But, am I right in thinking that... I probably should have saved there. Yes, I was right in thinking that. So I think now... Have I got to... I don't think I can now. I was thinking, do I try and incorporate the other one? Uh, 
Oh, you see, this doesn't work without that being in there. That's interesting. That's interesting. Check, is there any way? See, there's no indication here that any of this stuff turns off ever. That's just a return path. So, I don't particularly want to use that if I can help it. I mean, surely that would be more helpful than what we had before. But... Yo, Brimek, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Alright, so I foolishly... releasing I foolishly um, created a new save spot where I didn't really want to create a new save spot so let's reset this again just for a moment Okay, save here, and I don't want to overwrite my saves just at the moment. So. In the words of Guns and Roses, where do we go now? Paradise City, it's next exit. Do I have to go through the November rain to get there? Yeah, but the problem with fighting that civil war is that um, a lot of people will be knocking on heaven's door. God, where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? So... Oh, 
man, I haven't listened to their greatest hits album in such a long time. Alright, my my current thought process with this now, I think what I gotta do is I gotta get back up to there. With this kind of set up here. Now, remind me. Well, you don't have to remind me, but. Yeah, it does cause that one to respawn. I think what I could do with the cube. Let's see how that would help me, though. But I'm thinking once I have use of the. Once I get back up there, I can use the mechanic. To effectively bring things through here and through to the other side. So this one, uh, Bremick, this is what we call this is what they call an absolute fizzler. Um, so um, it will clear your portals, even if I don't have the port, even if I don't like have my portal gun active at the minute, because at the minute I can walk through normal fizzlers. I'll show you. Uh, because I don't have anything on that button or anything on a button that gives me act my portal gun active, I can walk through fizzlers without losing my portals. Whereas the absolute fizzlers here will clear it regardless. Okay, I think I see something I could potentially do here. Although... Tell a lie, I can't do that because... What's the first Portal 2 Master Quest mod? That's a good question, Aaron. That's a good question. Have we got the link line around? Have I got the link lying around? I don't think I've even got one for Master Quest, have I? No. Um, so... Go to go here, guys, and it should work. Um, vote in chat, I guess. Have a vote in chat. What you want to see first? Go to play DA. All right, I'll play DA tomorrow. Actually, no, I'll cancel my DJ stream. I'll cancel my DJ stream on. Uh, the weekend and we will play destroyed aperture i'm sure um i'm sure aaron will be happy with that i'm sure he won't have any problems or issues with me playing da all right let's buckle down again uh, on saturday night yeah saturday's it's, it'll be ready by saturday right all this you know facade we've been putting up for months and years about it not being ready and stuff maybe we should um Maybe we should finally, you know. <laughs> All this facade about it not being ready. It's been ready for years. We've just been teasing everybody. <laughs> uh, I've lost my train of thought now. 
All right, so I believe I've got to get back up to the top. So how do I get back up to the top? Is the $64 million pound question. The answer is I don't know that I can at the minute. Maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. Aperture tag. Man, I've not played that one for some time. That'll be over in like half an hour, right? <laughs> There was actually another Portal 1 mod that got added uh, last week, but um, I've got no intentions of heading back to the Portal 1 stuff just yet. I'm still getting over my motion of sickness from that game. I need to place a portal there, or do I? Um, hold on. I'm being dumb. I'm being stupid. We'll just do this. That, that, and then okay, that works. So, I believe that's progress. Okay, so now I can have a portal on both sides of that fizzler that doesn't turn off. Again, saying about what I said at the beginning, at the top of the map, it kind of lends itself to the kind of mono portal kind of esqueness of the map of a map. So, yeah, piston says no. Denied. You shall not pass. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, so this is the only way to take this pellet, right? Let's try that move again. He did say that throwing... Throwing was permitted. Okay. So that does that, that does that. So that's in a holding area. Right. So now I've got a problem because that should be the other side of the fizzler. So let's um, 
Let's reload the save because that cube shouldn't be there. We can do this, do this, then I should be able to, he says, go back. Was that convincing enough? And it's not coming up to the basket. He shoots. S misses. <laughs> Man, it reminds me of my youth days of playing the NBA games on the on the PlayStation. From way downtown, misses. I just remember the commentators on MB, the NBA, EA NBA games back when I was a kid. Yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation. There we go. All right, so that does that. That does that. So, next up, I think, so it doesn't, it does matter, I think, which one we use here. I'm going to save there, because I believe that is right. And we can do that because then we can go back. But here, we would want the foosball back, right? So, is there a way to... How high does this go? I could potentially get to there. Let me see if that helps me. That's a good point, money. Actually, yeah, I didn't have to stand on the button at all. It's a phys it's a laser field, isn't it? Good point. Good point. Do I need to throw it though? That's the real question here. So I can do that. Not really sure how that helps though. Is throwing the cube in there though, the, is throwing that football in there the right thing to do? Hold the fort.
Do I now go back and repeat those steps? The light bridge doesn't matter at this point. Right. Put a cube up there. Maybe I go back now. Go over to there, put the cube on there to unlock that laser field again and do something on the other side. But I don't know what because there's no easy way to respawn that cube, is there? That's just a return path. You know, I got I got nothing to lose, so let's do let's try this. I got nothing to lose. All that gives us the light bridge, so do this. God damn it, cube. In the words of the great Death Wish 808, just do the thing with a thing and exit. That's all we need to do. Quite clearly. Okay. So what can I do differently now I've done that? It's not like I can throw that through there. I don't think that changes anything for me, you know. Because that cube doesn't auto respawn. And now I don't have a way back through there. So yeah, that, that did absolutely nothing for me. <sighs> okay. I 
I, I don't want any. Uh, I don't want any hints. But is there any? Is there? Are there people in the chat who have completed this map? Uh, just, just a question. Don't want any hints. Just a genuine question. That's going to be too far to strafe over there, isn't it? Let's be honest. Alright, so, was I right? Was I right to throw that into there? Yo, Leo! Man, the myth, the legend. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome along. Cheers, Fumbly. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Uh, Bruce, what's going on? Welcome on the stream. What did you miss? You missed us plodding away for the last 53 minutes at this map. I don't know if I've made progress or not. So, I'm going to take a step back a moment. Here's why. So, we came through here like this, yeah? Let's put this on here. <laughs> Change the pellet to an airboat. Do you know what? That's a pretty good idea. So does this run over the... It, so this runs over the light strips. Yeah. I'm not beat yet though. I'm nowhere near beat. I've got plenty of ideas yet. Okay. So, we can respawn, and we can take the cube over to the side from here. Uh, apart from that. 
We didn't think about that, did we? Rats. Feels like there's more options though doing that than doing the other way. I have to say. Oh my goodness. Rushing. Take time. Slow down, knock. Hey Mikey, what's going on buddy? I'm not too bad, thank you. Not too bad at all. So, from here, I can do what? Oh. Uh, no, surely not. How does that change though what I had before? It doesn't change what I was doing before, does it? Hold on though. What I did before, though, I redid the other side, but this was on that holder there. What if this this football was already in place here when I do this? Then, we say, screw you, pal. We're going over here. Now we resolve this bit of the puzzle with the football in the other position, right? Because that is now there. We didn't have that before. So that's going to open up some... It's going to open up some different maneuvers for us here. <laughs> I've got a Scooby indeed. Alright, so now from here I can do this. Doesn't matter about that because now I can put this one over here. Alright, this is progress. This right here is progress. So, from here, we don't need to worry about that one anymore. And we can have a poor, a permanent. Yes, we can have a permanent. <laughs> we can have a permanent portal thingy there. Now.
next step is to get up to here. However, we have to be wary here. All right, let me try something. thinking swapping these would be the next move. So we can swap those pretty easily actually. He says. Okay, so we have both these here. Doesn't matter about this one. seconds ago. What are you talking about? Yes. There we go. So then we repeat these steps again. Uh, yes, this one. Money, you've completely lost me. Freaking platform screwed me again, man. What the deuce? Okay. Now. Footballs are swapped. Footballs are swapped. So what next? I appreciate it, Leo. Welcome along. Thank you very much for the follow. Space Kitten, what's going on? Welcome along. We're already an hour and five into the solve on this one, so... Um, I think we're on the right track, though, at the minute. We are kind of slowly making progress. I don't think I'm taking any wrong turns at the minute, but we will see. 
So, next up, we're going to need to get back up to there. So, the way we do that would be to do this. Because we have that there, this will now always be off. For now. So. Let's see what happens. I think I saved when we go back. Uh, hold on. We need to shoot a portal first. Okay, we've lost the portal. Uh, sorry, the portal gun power, at least. Ah, oh, guys, you're making me blush. I'm so glad I was your first. <laughs> All right, so we do that. The next logical thing would to do would be this. Right? So I can walk through here. Place the cube. Then I walk back through here. Why would I want to do that? Okay, I'm going to try something outrageous here. Ah, uh, it's not going to work though. The exit requirements are literally one thing. Um, sorry, is one thing, I should say. Proper English knock. Um, and that is cube on this button. Uh, which gives me a light bridge so I can walk across here. It also turns on this fizzle, so we need to work out how we get rid of that eventually. But yeah, literally, exit requirement is cube on that button. Seems simple, right? So I could take this from here and take this back to the other side. So this is my original one, right? I need to. I, need to, I want to go back because I want to see where where my save point is before I start doing too much. Okay, so do this, do this. So what I'm working on at the minute, Mika, is a very good question. It's kind of involving getting the things out of here, I believe, over to the other side, I think. I think that's the master plan.
Okay, so I know where we're up to at least on that. Do that and that. Do you know what? We need to worry about that. We can put that up there. Oh, it's an absolute fizzler, you donut. Well, that rules that out. That rules that out. I was just rushing. Uh, all right, I'll be honest, I need to take a few moments here and, and think about what I'm doing and where I go from here. I can now take that back through. Is that a thing I need to do? I got a feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Um, that. I want the weighted cube in here. Now, hear me out. The companion cube goes on that button. So what we could do from here, we can take this one back now. So 
So we have two options with this. We can either chuck it in the holding area there, which I don't think would be very useful. Or, oh my goodness, can't even get through the freaking portals now. The other option is to throw it into there. That, doing that, will cause the cube to respawn. I wonder if we almost need to resolve this side now because we have a, a, a change parameter on the other side whereby that fizzler is open for a start. All right, let's um, we'll save this as Leo Map One. Did that save? There we go. I hate these things. Do you know what? Does it even matter? Do I even need to throw this in here? I don't think I do, because if I'm going to resolve this whole side of the map, we can just do that, right? That respawns. That does that. Yeah? So I don't even need to worry about that. Well, we'll I'm sure we'll soon find out, Leo. I'm sure we will soon find out that very statement. Uh, I done did a boo boo. So, um, so this is this is a public service announcement for Knock. Can somebody please go half an hour back in the past and tell me how I solved this first half of the test? Thank you. Oh, I love my short-term memory. It's great. It's absolutely great. I think I just did this, to be fair. In my head, in my head, zombie, 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 a ace there in my head.
That's right. Then we did this. Pick it up again. It's all coming back to me now. Kind of. This gives us the light bridge. Then we can do... I was right, we know we need to put that on there. This god-awful shot. Why you do this to me, Leo? I just realised though, I haven't put a portal there. Then we go through here, down here, up there, walk across here. And we pray to the portly gods. Now this goes on here. So now the difference here is we can walk through here now. We didn't have this before. So. I think we need to go down here. Oh my goodness, it's a wild seven silhouette. What is going on, buddy? Welcome along to the stream. All right, so we're going to save this as Leo Map 2. Oh, hold well on. Done. All right, so. Let's try this. If I respawn this, we can pick this back up again. <laughs> good, to, good to see you around, though. Hope you're keeping well. So, where do we go from here? Very punny. Okay, so now we can get the other cube through to the other side. Okay. I lied, we can't. Oh, I got all excited about nothing. I got all excited, and I shouldn't have done. All right, let's... Alright, so we're back here. Where did that? So, I 
I could now go through there. Hold on. All right, my my concern now is how is this any different? It's different because I have the cube on the portal. That's why it's different. Red Silencer, welcome along to the stream. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. It is very much appreciated. Jeez. Jeez Louise. So I can do one of two things here. I can either respawn that and get a new cube. Don't see how that helps. Or I can put that here. As a holder. But I have no way then of getting back over there, do I? If I was to do that, can I take the what off? Nobody else is delayed, I don't think. Anybody else delayed? Or is it just money? miles off so that's not the right thing to do there's a 10 minute delay what I don't even think that is a twitch setting Hold on. Um. If there is a delay in um, being able to type and um, after you follow, then I don't know where that setting is. That must be a new setting in Twitch. I have never had that happen before. Moderation. Auto mod is off. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, that's something new that I never knew. I've changed it now. Yeah, but I don't expect people... If people are following, I would much rather that they can talk straight away, Leo. Um, so apologies to anybody that's... Um, apologies about that. But I'm not... Why is chat in follower-only mode, though? What? Huh. What you been doing, Twitch? What you been doing? All right, well, it's not follower-only mode, so, and there is should be no delay on. All my mods been playing my sounds. Well, I can only apologise wholeheartedly to anybody who um, who joined. Uh, Red Silencer, if you're there, uh, since you just um, finished, uh, sorry, since you just joined us, can you now type? <laughs> Well, I think the answer to that one, Red Silencer, would be we're all screwed. Uh, yeah, anyway. We're, we're, we're back to normal situations here. Like I said, apologies once again for that. Um, let's get back to the situation here. So... You bill me? Alright. If you want to give me a call on 1800, I don't really care. Um, I'll exchange bank deed. No, really, I do care. <laughs> I do care. It's all a lie. Don't listen to the lies. Okay, so this is this is a different scenario. That's not because I just f fell off a. Uh... Right, question is though, how does that help me and why does it help me and what can I do differently from here? How does it help me? Doesn't. The only thing it allow me to do actually, tell a lie, tell a lie. I could do that. Oh, the Conclan made the one for um, this, did he? Um, yeah, I thought the only th I thought the only like major element the Conclan had worked on in B mod. I mean, I might be wrong. Was the um, the slim sendificator?
Okay, so can I now get back? Of course I can get back. Open that up again. Head back over here. From here, I need to resolve this segment. Don't know what I'm catching there with my quick fire, with my my entity picker thing, but um, make an interesting sound. Um, right, so that one wants to be that one. The football, put it up there. Now I can put this here. So this is the same as the original solve, but not much has changed. I mean, I could now do... We don't need that anymore. So now, that's different. I still believe I've got to get the weighted cube through into this area. Maybe I've got an opportunity to do that now. The problem is I've got two like... The, the problem is now I've got two different saves that I could branch off in two different directions and the more I like segment it off and create save points the, the harder it is to go back and retrace steps 
Um, which is frustrating to say the least. I mean, I keep going backwards and forwards and resolving both sides with slight variances and slightly different intricacies. I mean, this is different again because when we solved this part before, we didn't have that far side open. So, I mean, we can go back again here. Maybe we're... My big concern, though, at the minute is that the original football from the other side... I don't really have access to. That's concerning for me. So now here I can go through and I can seat that on there. I can open that up. Um, go through here we can refire stuff if we need to I don't really think that we need to refire anything though at the minute comes down to getting one of those cubes on the other side. We are not.
Alright, so I, th I think at this point, I'm a bit confused as to which path I need to go. So, in a simple yes-no answer, am I on the right path? No, the exit is not open yet, Sonny. It is not. Have I chosen the right path? Am I doing the right thing? I'm good right here. Okay. In that case, I'm going to save. Right here. Okay. That's all I need to know. So, from here... Again, in a simple yes-no answer, don't want to know anything more. Am I right in thinking that the I have got to get one of the cubes to its opposite side? Just a simple yes-no. Again, yes. All right. So. I did just have a think about, I thought about something while I was over here. Let's ignore our portals. Excuse me. Actually, I want to set up on the other side. Something that I just thought about was that I hadn't been across to this side directly from... That opens that, so we can go back over to there. So from here we have a couple of options. We could either... Position the cube back, go back over to there. Which would probably be the... Hold on. That's controlled by that. So from here... Okay, I could do this. No, you don't. The cube's got to pass via a portal because th that doesn't turn off. That's a, re uh, a a reset. So the cube, whichever cube we swap and whichever wherever we swap it to, it's got to be done via a portal. That much is is true. So I think we're going to want to do. You see it? All right, so th there's a problem with that setup and that logic here in that I can only do that to there, so I don't have the ability to... I don't have the ability... do that, do I? Okay. So, we'll go back over here. What if we did... Right, so is there a way I could get a portal on there with this open so that I can fling from this side through to here? I don't think there is without getting another cube through. Just 
Thinking about things in my head. Just give me a sec. I don't know which side I want to be. Let's go through. So this is a whole new world right here. So, with this setup, if I reset this room again, If I reset this room again, so I can walk up to here. Cube on there so I can fire a port wherever I want it to go. Answer your question, Money. Um, yeah, I believe he has gone. Unless he's lurking. Um, I did see a message. Oh, no, he's still there. I'm sorry, I did see a message say that he was playing Terraria, so he's probably doing other bits and pieces. I'm just lurking. Oh, the exit's miles away. <sighs> um. Whoops. It's right there. And this is the exit requirement here. I've just worked out what the exit the exit requirement is as well. Uh, crap. Hold on. I done did a boo boo. Yeah, the exit's in the original room. Oh, hold on a moment. There's one thing we haven't tried. That's probably why we didn't try it. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't think that would do anything anyway, would it? That would be a dumb move, and now everything is screwed, and we have to reset everything. Okay. 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 What time are we at? Half past eleven. All right. We're good for. A, we're good for a bit longer yet. Okay. So from here. We were resetting the room again, weren't we? Yo, Innocent, what is going on, buddy? Welcome on to stream. Hope you're well. You're joining us two hours into this map from Leo, which is a doozy. Alright, so now we're here, we reset this room. I'll be honest, I've lost count of how many times we've actually, like, reset this whole freaking room. These rooms. There's a few. Grabbed it then. Okay. So that's all well and good, but then that oh, this chair is squeaking like crazy. So that's all well and good, but that stops us from doing that. So let's overwrite that one. Okay. Yes! I don't know what I did, but yes. Okay, I know what I did. I see what I did. Okay. Now, we have to absolute fizzle the portals, but that is active. That's, that's a key player in this right now. So... Now, we have this. We have to do that. Because of the absolute fizzler. Now, how do we get rid of that? That is the big question. Yo, Mike, what is going on? Is my pain bad? No, it's not bad at all. We're only two hours in. That's fine. What was my idol when I was like between 8 and 16? Christ, that's like... That's like... That's a long time ago for me. Okay. Is 
if I'm completely honest, I don't know. It's a bit of a... I don't really know what I would say for that. Okay, so we go across here. We can move that back, but that doesn't help us because... Because of that cube, that... that. <sighs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Things are different now, though, aren't they? Things are different. Yeah, I suppose following on from uh, last night's conversation, yeah, I was a big, big rock fan. So I respond this. Still have my portals there. Again, um, yes or no, right, is this the right? Are we on the right track? that just yet. Um, still trying to think about the uh, the question there from Innocent. Um, Alright, let's pretend I land on here because I should have done. I'm still thinking about it, Innocent, to be honest. I'm, I, I've not forgotten. Don't worry. I've not forgotten about you. I'm genuinely just trying to think of what my answer would be. American Isle. No. I was, I mean, I was always big on like I've always been big on like Formula One and motor racing. So, um, like genuine kind of people idols, I would probably say someone like um, back when I was a kid, it was probably not Michael Schumacher. I can't really stand that guy. Uh, he wins too much. Uh, Damon Hill, one of the, the British drivers, he was quite 
I, I used to kind of really idolize him a lot from like Formula One. Um, oh, shite. Death Wish. <laughs> I idolize you. I have a shrine in my garage devoted to you, Death Wish. Um, but yeah, we, we did talk last night about like how I freaking loved The Rock when I was younger, when he was when I was like proper into wrestling. And uh, um, but I don't know. I don't really. I wouldn't really say. I mean, back when I when then when I got sort of like older, like towards the end of that, I guess I was started to idolize. Um, D, like like music producers and DJs and stuff. Um, music point of view, I've always idolised freaking. <laughs> he won't win anymore, so I can't choose him. No, um, I've always idolised and had massive respect for um, uh, Daft Punk. I think I think Daft Punk are like up there as one of my favourite all time sort of big musical acts. Um, yeah, I, I would have loved to have seen Daft Punk when I was around and about in my heyday. I just think their whole sort of, the whole music and their whole show and everything they do is just a, a complete and utter festival of amazingness. So yeah, I would probably say towards the end of that, Daft Punk, I would say. From a from a music point of view, definitely. Um I don't think this helps me. Alright, we're going to go back. Oh, I can't remember where we were now here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not convinced I'm... A million miles away, Mike, I'll be honest. Um, but as well, I know, I know I kind of like took a while to answer. What you've also got to appreciate is that when I was eight, it was 1993. And probably some of you hadn't even been born yet. Just saying. I know Mika's in my 1985 gang. <laughs> Death Wish proper old school. So, Leo said from here you wanted to bring one of the cubes to the other area. I can't remember what I did from here now. Oh, shit. Um, I think... This is the point where I just swap the pellets around, right? I think. See, this is, this is the problem, and then I get too many freaking... save points, and I try and do too much.
Alright, let's go. So that is the other side, I believe. Alright, have I even swapped them at this point? Shit. I am royally confused. What was save one? Save one was right before I did the swap there, wasn't it? Yes. Alright. We do the swap. We have a portal in both positions. This is right up to here, I believe. Then I can jump back up to there. God's sake, why did I place the freaking port so far away? That my space bar don't work. Alright, so now I can grab this one back. Right. No. That's not what I want to do. Because the reason for doing that was to give me the portal so I could get back to the other side, wasn't it? Yes, because that is operating that. So, okay. From here. Jump through here. Do I take this one? And then I do that. That allows me then to do what? Deathwish was playing Portal 2 back when the Atari 2600 came out. There's the door. Get out the door. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, so freaking hot in here tonight. Death Wish is so old he was playing Portal 2 on the cheering machine. I think what I've done is right here, 
but I can't for the life of me now think what I need to do next. I would assume, actually, I have got to get this back, even though I just spent all my time getting that there. In the slightest. I've lost my way. Oh shit. The reason I've lost my way is I can't for the life of me remember how I now got from A to B. And I can't now remember if that save is before or after this save. I mean, I suppose there's one easy way to test that. And that would be to... That's exactly the same position as this though, isn't it? So that's before the swap. Oh, piss off. Alright, so that's before the swap. So this... Just two sets, guys. Oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, this one. Okay, so this is where we got to, we did that, that respawned that, can jump through there <sighs> so the only thing I can do now is walk through here Cube on there and portal over to there. Okay. That's the only thing I can do, I think. Is everybody in agreement? Probably not. Okay. Now. The big issue comes now. You're not in agreement. Hmm. 
But how else? How else then can I? How else can I get back? The only other thing I can do Good job, game. Good job. So that's a thing I can do. Can you please reset? Thank you. Try not to kill me though. Okay, so then I can put that cube up to there. How's that help me? I could potentially... So I've done that, I've done that. I could... I could now jump back and take the cube... Take that out. Okay, okay. So what if I did this? So I determinated. Thanks for uh, sticking by. So I death wish. Yeah, look at the time. Indeed. Yeah, that just rip. I was literally like fractional fraction of a second off there. The the idea was there to get a portal shot to there. I think it's um I think that elevator's giving up on me.
Okay. Is that right? The only thing I could do here is what I tried to do before, but I, I think it's that the Portland's too quick. What do we think about that? I don't think that's right. just like a constant cat and mouse and I mean, this is something new. Tell me that that wasn't right, Leo. Please tell me that wasn't right. Uh, what's happening is... It can't respawn that, um, it can't respawn that football. So yeah, please tell me that that move wasn't right. That's all I want to hear. Because if not, I'm... Okay. I'm... 
I don't know where to go from here then. Because you previously said, I, I said about going back up here with that cube on that button and the portals, and I think you, you stopped me. Yes. I think I want to bring the companion cube to the other area. Because once I have the companion cube in the other area, I can put the companion cube on that button. I can put the weighted cube on top. I can then get the football from this side walk across the light bridge and smash it on the other side and that will buy me enough time to walk through the laser grid before the weighted cube gets back on the button. Is that, that's the solution isn't it? Right? But, I say I want to bring the companion cube through to the other side, I may need to bring the weighted cube through to this side first. But uh, again, I don't know how. The only way to do that would be to keep a portal on this side whilst respawning everything on the other side. So I need to keep a portal on this side, respawn everything on the other side. Then I'll be able to use the light bridge. I don't know from this situation here though, I don't know how to get out. I don't know how to get out to the other side. If I get back over here, shoot a portal to there, possibly. And again, real talk a moment, right? How far... Oh, God, this fucking chair. How far away am I from, like, finishing up? Because I'm quite conscious that times times are ticking here. I don't feel like I've made any progress at all, Hardy, in the last hour, which is upsetting. About halfway. But I think going back to, I think, yeah, I was just about to say, going back to Mike's previous comment, I think I have got the ending. So in a couple of steps time, I think the, the pace will pick up 
drastically, but it's just getting to that point. So this is this is my problem right now. How do I get? What I can't see is I can't see a way back to the other side because I need this to be up. I need that to be out as well. I I I, I gotta kind of, in terms of like the final solution, I gotta keep that football out of that area. I'm almost wondering if the fact I swapped the footballs around was the right thing to do. Because not having that football associated with that catcher and in there, it prevents me from having my way to sort of portal back up to there. So what, what if I backtrack? I take this. I put that there. I just feel like, at the moment, swapping them around was the wrong thing to do. Did I even swap them? Did I even swap them around? Okay, so this is where the swap needs to happen. So that does that. We respawn this one. We jump down here. Swap it now. Jump back up. Grab the football. Put this one here. 
I just feel like I've like just undone everything I was working on for the last hour by doing this, but <sighs> all right, I yes, I'm gonna cheat because I just forgot to shoot my freaking portal there. Okay. You'd have to do that so many times, though, Mika. That's the problem. Even if they did get painted, every time you spawned it, I, I don't even know if you'd be able to get one there. But... I think I've gone off the scent again now because I've lost the scent. I can't remember where this save took me now. <sighs> Alright, so that's not a swap. This one is that one over there. The problem is, I think now is I've got to a point and I don't know what the last step I did was. So to undo that change is just, it's difficult because now I, I don't know what I'm trying to undo, what I'm actually playing with. which will annoy me because if I leave it here now, I don't know if my save is valid or not. And that's my worry. If I put this down now, 
I don't know if everything is valid. Well, the footballs are swapped, so the one behind the Fizzlers is the one from the other room. Napaz, what is going on? Raiding with the party of three, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we've gone back here. And so that football is now the original football that spawns in this side. So from here I'm good. Oh, don't worry, no, Paz. I'm about to do the same. I've been on this one now for th almost three hours. So, um, yeah, my mental capacity is just, like, on the floor right now. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to save over all of my previous ones too so that all three of these are on the same save point just in case I get like stupided out for lack of a better term surely they're right I've got to take this this football here. I gotta put that there. This has then got to go on to here. We take this one back. But you see, that's... No, I can't do that because Leo already said that's not intended. Hold on a minute. I can walk out of this one. I don't know if that's if that's an important fact or not.
But just remembering back to the original move set here, we have to grab that, re-grab that, and fling ourselves back up. But like I said, I mean, I've been playing around with this idea now for so long. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's right or wrong. This is this is what we did before, wasn't it? This is how we escaped this room. I just I don't know, I feel like that's a back step. sound with Sonny there. I don't think you've got many average players playing this one. I dare say you've probably received quite a few uh, down votes for this one. Yeah, I guess most people would probably just most people use color just as cuz it looks pretty. As opposed to using them for like logical purposes. So, hey, there's this tool that I can color a cube and I can make it look green and red and purple and blue and orange and it's fancy and I'm just going to color them whatever color I want to color them. You know what? I'm going to color them all the same color but just because I can. through there though can I because there's a pause a fizzler in the way right, I should have gone back up to here and done that to there I would have landed on here Cube, that sphere is back over where it was before.
so. See, that's a different move right there, but I'm not able to get there. Now, going back probably about half an hour or so, didn't Leo make a comment about... that there's more than one way to get the cube? The light bridge isn't the only way to reach the standard cube spawning area. Really? So what am I missing? I was just thinking, could I not like fling through that absolute fizzler, but I can't then go through there, so that wouldn't be the option. All right, so that's option one. Option two is over there. What did I say? Um, I said... Fling over there, but I'd lose the port and I can't go through there. Right, so... I can't do the fling. Right, I can't, I can't do the fling. Alright, can I just... Oh, shit, I really shouldn't have done that here. Alright, let me just undo a few steps here. I think I'm on to... I, I seem to be on the right track, judging comments from certain people. So we did that, we did that... We came through here and we swapped the port to there, which meant that would have then gone to there, correct? And then we had this football. We had this, right? Oh, shit! So this is what I had before, right, wasn't it? Right, 
My, is my weight cube in the right position? I can't quite remember. Without going back. Yeah, because I've walked up. Gone to there. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe that wasn't... I was good? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the right portal, that's that right one. So we jump down here. We know that these are in the right positions here. That's right, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. So then we do this to here. Portal to there. Get rid of that one. Up to here. I was going to say, could I do that to there, but I can't. I can't put a port there because I don't have the ability to... I haven't got the thing on the button. Alright, so we've got to go this way. then pull to there we grab this cube we take this one Okay, here I'm good. So, Was good in the lower area? Okay. the two things I said when you kind of mentioned something were flinging through this portal here but that's going to clear everything so I don't think that would help and the other thing was put a portal there but if I put a portal there, how can I access that portal right there?
What did I say that was so... There is one thing I could do differently here. through there there's no way to get out rather than f other than fizzling everything Alright, Bremick, thanks for stopping by. I, re I really need to go to bed, to be fair. It's almost 1am in the morning. It'll soon be 6 when i got to get out of bed. There's only t so there's two things that I am talking about doing. Either putting a portal there. Hold on. I could put a portal there. I could put a portal there. I could fling up to there. I could press the button there. But I lose the ability to go through to the other side. I don't see that helping me. The other thing I could do is I could put a portal there. I could put a portal there. Jesus. So then now. Okay, so. Now I can do this. And I can swap the cube. Cube is swapped. Now I need to get the cube back. So we're we're still not. We know what we need to do. We're still not done though. It 
it's still not home and dry because we now need to get the football from the other side and bring it over here so We're still not home and dry just yet. But because we need to we we now need to work out We now need to work out how we get the other All right, so I think what is now going to involve is resolving this chamber again. Um, I think can't see how to get a portal into that room Because the end, the ending, the ending step is, like I've said before, the weighted cube on top of here. That one is going to be on there. The other football that we're going to have over here with us, so we can walk across here, throw the football here, walk through the laser grid. The other cube drops on top. We fall through the exit. So. Because these don't turn off. I can't use this button and I cannot place a football back in there now. Because that is just catastrophic.
You troll. You absolute troll. Just made it. Jeez, that was touch and go. Alright, so I think that's going to be a step. Um, I just need to work out what to do with the cubes and other bits and pieces here. Um, I mean, do I even need to do it to there? I don't know. This one's got to go over to here, so I mean, we can get the light bridge back at any time now. So, yeah, the big question now is how do we get this back to here? Do we. And do we do this? Because we have everything available to us. That's not going to fizzle, right? So we can go up to here. And do this. We can't get through there, though, because we haven't got a thing there. Alright, seriously, there, guys. I am going to leave it there, because I need to go to bed. Um... I will try and get this finished over the next couple of days. Probably won't do it on stream. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to stream unless I can fit in a lunch stream over the next few days. Um, if any day, it'll be Thursday. Um, but yeah, we are, after almost three and a half hours, we are tantalizingly close, I feel. So um, yeah, we'll be back real soon finishing off this um map thanks everybody i appreciate the um the non-spoilers as well in the chat um i always kind of get a little bit apprehensive when i play these sort of difficult maps that um when you live stream them people in chat might give away too much but i appreciate everybody for sort of keeping it spoiler free thank you very much you guys are absolutely awesome but until next time i've been knock you've been awesome cheerio